so welcome guys to the to this video we will be solving first the homework problem that we have got from the Fibonacci series lecture so first we will solve the homework problem then we will come to another problem that is this problem this is find the sum of the series same sum but a little twist very easy both of the sums are okay so first we will solve the homework problem so in the homework problem find the sum of the series up to n terms where x is an integer entered by the user 1 plus 1 1 plus 3 1 plus 4 ones. so you can see that it is in a pattern it is first 1 2 3 4 it is increasing so how to approach this problem for approaching first i take a variable suppose num n u m okay and I do this now as 0 okay take this now next what I do is that I 0 into 1 plus that now Okay, so, or we can say like this that is num is equal to num into one plus sorry num into ten plus one. Okay, so in this way we will increase the loop so we will get the first the numbers suppose first it is 0 so 0 first it is the number is 0 so 0 into 10 plus 1 we get 1 this number is stored in num num becomes 1 after that 1 into 10 plus 1 it becomes 11 so num becomes 11 after that 11 into 10 plus 1 so it becomes 1 1 1 num becomes 1 1 1 similarly we will go up to the end terms that is entered by the user okay so we will get these terms now here it is telling that find the sum of it so we will initialize another variable that is sum and we will mention it to 0 after that what we will do is that in the loop sum is equal to sum plus num okay so this also will go with the loop so in this way we can solve this problem so I can I can also tell you that it becomes 1 then 1 will add with 0 so 1 plus 0 it becomes 1 again 1 1 1 1 plus 1 it becomes 12 then again triple 1 plus 12 becomes 3 2 1 then it becomes 1 20 one two three four like this is goes on so we need two variables one is the num and another is the sum so this two we need num and sum after that we will do this in the loop and we will get that so now we come to the visual studio code and watch how to solve this problem okay
take patch include a stream using them specifically. First, we do what integer num zero sum zero over do a for loop integer i that is equal to one i less than suppose we need to go to the five times so less than equal to five i plus plus increment it i plus plus after that I do num is equal to num into 10 plus 1 sum plus equal to num okay this you know what this mean this sum is equal to sum plus num okay then then I will print this sum okay so I save it I run it I got one two three four five I got to the five times okay if it is told that n times then make integer n in intake input from integer and put here in if you run it so it will be telling how many times suppose four times okay some problem I think this four times why not happening some problem is there in this code already running so so when you run it Suppose you need to find four terms. Suppose we get one, two, three, four. We need to find ten terms. We get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero, zero, like this. Okay. Now we move on to the next problem. We cover a bit. What is this? This problem. So how to solve this? Very easy. How to approach when the sum of the series up to n terms where x is an integer entered by the user? We can see here x minus plus minus plus like this. So if we look carefully, then we will find that this is the odd term that is first term. This is the even term that is second term. This is again an odd term third. This is even term that is fourth okay fourth term fourth. so we can notice from here that is if it is odd term then it is positive if it is even it is negative okay so odd positive even negative in this way you can approach suppose if it is a odd number we can add plus if it is an even number then minus same thing we will first what we will do is that take an integer num we initialize to one because after that we can do we can make it num into x like that we can increment it in a loop okay we can get x first x we will get then we will get x into x x square 
x cube like this okay so similar approach now now into x and next we will add a sum that is zero and it will take sum plus num so it will do x x square x cube it will do but now what we need to do is that odd term positive even term negative so we can give an if statement that is if if suppose we take a for loop for integer i is equal to 1 i less than suppose n terms then we take uh, increment i suppose this i in this i modulus 2 is 0 then it is what something we will do else something we will do what is the something that we have done here okay so i modulus 2 means if i divide a number by 2 i get remainder 0 then it's an even number else it's an odd so if i do this is an even and this is an odd okay so what we do here is that simply do this task what we have done here that is num is equal to num into minus x because even term negative or term positive and what we do here num is equal to num into positive of x okay then what we do is sum then we sum it then we close the loop then print the sum okay so this is the main thing first we take a loop simply if it is even and uh, multiply minus sign with it if it is an odd then multiply positive sign with it then we will get this and previously first we have to take a num we have to increment that num into x num into x like that and take a sum and we have to add it okay and now we, we can't do the visual studio code we will do this problem okay so start with same thing num that is equal to 1 since we multiply it so we cannot take num is equal to 0 because it will become 0 0 0 like that okay so integer num i take an integer x that user should input and integer n that user should input so i can say out c out enter the number of terms I take in again I tell C out enter the value of X do this after that I take a for loop integer i that is equal to 1 i less than equal to n increment the i then what i do inside it if i modulus 2 that is equal to is even term then num is equal to num into minus of x or if it is odd num equal to num into x 
so I write here on term sorry, event term sorry on term next I take the sum equal to print the value of the sum suppose I run it enter the number of terms suppose I need to find four terms enter the value of x suppose one what do we get four we have done a wrong thing so it's num plus will equal to you know. suppose we need to find the find the number of terms four in the value of x1 we will get zero how it is zero if we come here one minus one plus one minus one that is zero suppose we take and then run it suppose we need to find 10 terms x value is 2 we will get minus 410 okay like this it's a very easy problem and i think you have enjoyed it if any doubt then you can comment me and ask me okay i will be posting another problem rapidly like this and in the next problem is that how to design a clock that is a simple clock not a, that is a digital clock using c++ and it's very easy and i will be posting it okay so how to make a clock is the next video if you can try it in your home then you can try it or else i will show you in the next video okay